Oh, that's a good one. All right, this is getting hit beside me. Oh no, we got a mess. Oh gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are surf fishing four rods with big live mullet off of the beautiful Oak Island. And the goal is to catch anything from flounder to red drum to Spanish mackerel to bluefish. Now we've just got set out. I want to show you guys what I'm using. Now here's an example of one. It's basically a two alt mosquito hook with 40 pound fluorocarbon with a fish finder rig to a barrel swivel. I've started with two ounce weights. These are pyramid style. I've gotten them out right now. And honestly, I'm just gonna see how they perform in the surf here. And if I need to step up and wait, I will. So I had a fish on, I saw it kind of bouncing a little bit. I said, well, maybe something's playing with it. And I can feel him. Uh, can't tell what it is yet. Pr probably blue, feels bluey. Not sure yet. Working my way up with him. See what we got. Kind of swimming me a little bit. Pretty hard. Yep. All right, this is a nice blue fish. As you guys can tell. How's it going? Not bad. Yeah. Not very nice. That's a start, right? Yeah. This is a blue fish. Yeah, good really good smoked. I don't know if you've ever had it smoked. Oh. That's arguably the best way to eat it. Excellent. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you, man. Y'all have a good day. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get him back. That's number one for the day. That's a nice one. He's probably about what, 16, 18 inches. It's just just got smacked, y'all. Oh my gosh, I about lost this rod. I don't even think I have a fish on here now. Maybe I do. I about lost this rod, y'all. I'm changing out batteries. I don't even know how much of this I just got on camera, but whatever it is, it's swimming me back and forth down the beach. I thought I was about to lose my rod. I look up and bam, it's a good fish. there it is spanish mackerel good one too boy that is a good one man that is a good spanish from the beach i'd say he's about 20 22 inches so i had walked down here to check the battery of that camera and like I turn and look and my rod is like almost about to come out of the rod holder because this beast right here had just hit it and started running. All right, so we're gonna get back out there as soon as we can. I hope there's a few more hanging around. I've been out here for a few hours now, consistent, just getting cut off. I'm about to get smacked with this. So I do have my rain jacket, I'll put that on, try to cover up everything that's electronic. Got this one though. Oh, I just, I just I got hit right beside us. Okay, it's a blue there. Oh, that's a good one. All right, this is getting hit beside me. Oh no, we got a mess. Oh gosh. Okay, that's getting smacked. That's probably another blue over there, the way that's jumping. 
right. Let's check this one. Let's get this one. Take it. Take it. Got him. Got him. Boy, y'all saw me set it on that one. We're going to figure skate him up to the beach. Another nice blue fish. Man, these are some big blues. I know if, if I liked them, I'd have a cooler full right now. All right, all right. They're a lot of fun to catch. I know that. Another good one. I don't know what it is about that rod right there. Keeps getting them. It's my dad's rod, which is really cool. And it's on its last leg. It's one of them that I inherited. Well, I, honestly, it's the last one I have of his. He passed away 13 years ago. This is the last rod I have of his. And she old and she tired, but she's still catching fish. I made it back home. I had to leave abruptly because of thunder and lightning. And I picked up a few things that I'm gonna share with you based on today's fishing trip. Every fishing trip is an opportunity to learn new things, new tactics, learn from mistakes. And today I could have gotten away with a lighter pyramid sinker. I didn't know at the time, but two ounce was perfect, uh, but there was a zero current. So I should have switched to a one ounce where it would give that mullet a little more freedom to move around on the bottom, which could have enticed bait a little more effectively. The next thing that I should have done, I should have tried to hook the fish behind the, uh, the top fin about midway, just to see what would have happened because it was time and time again, I'd reel in a head where a Spanish or bluefish had cut the mullet in half and I was missing a lot of strike opportunities. So next time I want to try hooking in a different area and seeing if that changes things. Another tactic that I should have used is to try to variate my bait a little more effectively. I was targeting Spanish mackerel, so that's why I had four rods with mullet, but I should have taken two rods and maybe tried some fresh shrimp, some bait strips, some sand fleas, anything that could have targeted a different species of fish, whiting, pompano, speckled trout. Uh, I should have variated a little more effectively. And the last thing is there was periods where I was consistently getting hit, consistently catching fish in the rain. A lot of folks ask, you know, do fish bite in the rain? Well, yeah, they do. If you're in the right place at the right time, there was a lot of bait on the beach and predators are going to follow that bait. So yeah, it did start thundering and lightning, which is a reason to leave. But if safety is not a concern and it's just a, a brief shower, a period of showers, then uh, I, I think if you have the weather gear, you should grind it out. But I appreciate you. If I can help you with any real estate needs, my contact information is down below. I'll catch you next time.